Greetings and welcome back to the rainy days. I'm Catherine of Sky and we're playing against the storm. So we are still in the update, which I'm not that fond of, but I hear it's being worked on. So I do want to see what it plays like at a lower difficulty level. The last one we did was literally impossible. If you have not picked up this game yet, I highly encourage you to do so. And if you decide to do, please use my uh, creator code on Epic. Uh, that gives me a tiny percentage of the uh, the sale price and doesn't cost you anything more. So um, I've been looking at our upgrade tree and one of the buildings that was recommended to me and I kind of agree is the, um, not this one, the common hall, a place where villagers can fulfill all of the needs, uh, the service needs. However, none of them are free, but this is a blueprint. If we just wait one more level, we can get it as an essential building, meaning it is unlocked all the time. It is one of our core buildings that we can pick from. So I'm not going to unlock it here. I'm going to get it here, uh, up here. So what I do want to unlock is this one. We have Amber worth 25% uh, more to traders, which is fabulous. And we also have the artisan who can produce ink and coats, barrels, training gear, all the things. Let's unlock that. And then the other one I looked at that I kind of want to uh, do is we can make parts. This is sometimes parts have uh, caused us some, some anguish in not being able to get any. So uh, this will allow us to make parts, even though it gives our person in there to uh, a uh, minus 10 resolve hit, unfortunately. But we also get access to the kiln, which it makes coal like crazy, bricks and jerky. So I want to get that one. So now we're up to the next level. Let's look at what we've got, what we have here. We have embark points, the clay pit. Oh, that sounds good. Um, brickyard is also very useful. Here's our common hall, which I think is going to be our next thing. I didn't want to spend any of these artifacts because I want to save them for that. And we also have, let's see, five incense per minute. We have ink, tea, and wine in the tinct uh, tinctury. We also have, let's see, lost supplies. Let's see, an unusual amount of supplies can be found in some glades. Gain 40 meat and 40 grain for each dangerous glade event solved. That's quite nice. Uh, then we have the pantry, another thing that gives us pickled goods. Ale, packs of crop, pack of trade goods, and then the Vliss Greybone Trader. She might have tools, luxury items, building materials, and perks for sale. That's pretty exciting. Um, okay, so then Prosperous Archaeology. People are invigorated by every discovered cache, gaining a stack of the wealth effect, plus one global resolve for every two caches opened. That's pretty darn nice. All right, but we'll have to save these for later because we don't have enough uh, spending money. Okay, let's go back to our world. And unfortunately, we were not allowed to get to the blue light. Can't get there. So we need to end the current cycle. And here is our data. So it's the phase of the mist worm next. So let's end this and get further. All right, there are multiple blue lights on this map. That's quite interesting. There's one over here as well. That might be interesting to go for. There's one also over here. Hmm. This one has a lot of extra bread, which I'm kind of a fan of. 25 bread there, 20, 29 there. Uh, this one, wow. This one's already in reach and we get five extra points from it. I'm kind of tempted to go for that actually. It doesn't give us max distance, but I'm kind of like, hey, let's go for this. I don't know if our goal is the blue light. I kind of think it might be. Let's see, this is 25. I think we might go for the 29 here. We can go for this one. That's, um, oh, we actually get two, two, uh, what are these things called? Artifacts here. So if we try to go for there, I am assuming that all the blue lights are equidistant from the center. I'm not quite sure if that is the case. This one actually looks very close. Maybe we should go for, let's go for this blue light. I really want to see the blue lights, even if we don't get enough of those artifacts. We're going to try it. Okay, so Royal Woodlands, is there, do we have any cursed anything? Because I haven't been to the cursed areas yet. I don't think I have anyway. Scarlet Orchards, Marshlands... No, no. All right, so we're gonna just kinda, we're gonna go for that blue light. 
I really want to go there. This could be really dangerous with the trade block, but we're going to see if we can get there anyway. Let's go up here. And all right, so we have map size medium, la -da 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 -da, 60 experience, modest fires. Okay, so we have lots of fiber in here, some clay, not a lot of resin or leather. Uh, no insects, it looks like, um, but more eggs and roots and things. Okay, cool. Okay, we have five points here. I think it might be worth taking a support thing, a support item. Or we could take some Amber, that's always nice, but plus three to Beaver Resolve is huge. Maybe we take plus three to Lizard Resolve. It does, however, cost us four points for that. That's crazy amounts, Jeez. All right, I'm taking the Beavers. Taking the Beaver Resolve, taking the Beavers, and then we have no points left. <laughs> that's it. Okay, let's go, let's go. See what this is like. Start off only with two positive modifiers, I noticed. Uh, what do we got here? Three to mushroom production. Uh, active in drizzle. I never noticed this, that this is only active in drizzle. Um, all right, so impatience grows 80% slower during drizzle. So if we find a way to change the drizzle duration, we might want to do that. Uh, though impatience is good for reducing hostility. That's another point. Okay, so here we have downpour. Okay, clothing uh, or the units move slower. That's hostility one. So hostility four and up, we have services or, oh God, I hate this modifier, the chance to perish. All right, service is needed. And then, wow, devastating storms, hostility five. Rampaging storm stifles the spirit of all living creatures, stacks with hostility level minus 20 to global resolve. Oh, game. The game does a hate me. Yeah. All right. We have some clay here. We've got broccoli going on. We have glades going on. Hooray. Oh, this is nice. We have this like big one over there. Another big one down here. Definitely want to kind of get into those uh, directly. What do we have here? Do we have a broccoli picker? We got coal, bricks and jerky there. We got planks here and luxury goods. Lumber, I like this one a lot. Planks and flour. That's a really nice one to get initially. I think we'll go ahead and grab that one because planks are such an important part of what we do here. Uh, right, so this is gonna be a more difficult one here. Uh, the Grove gives us better berry production and crystallized dew. Uh, but this one gives us plant fiber. I don't, I think we had lots of plant fiber in our modifiers, so we don't really need it. Roots and herbs might be really good though. So let's see what we get in our cards and see what we need to, to kind of fulfill there. Okay, so, uh, right, let's start off with our path around the center. One, two, and there. Do, 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 do. And one, two, three. Okay, there we go. The broccoli's a tiny bit in the way, but it's fine. Now then, uh, we'll start off with our uh, woodcutters over here. Uh, actually, we'll do that right there. And then we'll have one also over here. Now we'll put these up to three and then these to three. It doesn't really matter just so long as they're in an order of some kind. Now then, the next thing I wanna do is build the stone cutters camp to get some of this clay. That's gonna be really important to us. We'll put that on priority two. Uh, the next thing, I think we're gonna do houses after that. Now we do have specialty houses, but we don't have any specialty materials just yet. So we have six, three, and three. So 12, uh, meaning we need four houses, one, two, three, and four. Perfect, uh, all right. And so those are gonna be uh, the regular, I think I don't, I'm not going to put those up, but then I want to also make our new, brand new lumber mill, which we need bricks and uh, fabric for. So this is something that we need to put in our crude uh, workbench for. Let's see, where is it? Housing, industry, there we go. Crude workstation is required apparently. Now let's see what else we need here. I wanna get in a uh, post. No, I don't want that. I want the trading post. That's why I always forget it. I think it's because it's on this other tab and I rarely look there. So now this trading post does not have to be next to the heart of the city. 
So that is, I'll put this on a minus one, actually all of these on a minus one kind of thing. But they're gonna get built as they can. Uh, this one, maybe I'll build, oh, oh, no, no, wait, hold on, hold on, no. I didn't mean to put the shelters on minus one. I want to put, this one I also wanna put on zero. I think that'll be fine. We'll build the shelters first. Really important to get those shelters going on. And here we go. Time to start the game. All right, very nice. Okay, there's one. See, it's not quite done. There we go. Beaver, beaver, and more beaver. Yay. Okay, and of course we need to cut into these areas. Oopsies. Let's go ahead. I'm going to do a three wide cut into these just so we can get the space and housing and that kind of stuff. There we go. Three there and then, oh, that's a bit messy. Uh, sure. <laughs> that That's neat and tidy. Yeah, we'll just do that. Sure. Okay. It's fine. They'll have stuff to do and wood to cut, which is the most important thing. Here I'm going to go for the big glade, I think. And we'll kind of remove some of this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's better. All right, so they have things to do as well. We can put our beavers on that. Go, go, go. All right, here we go. Let's go. Let's do all the things and all the stuff. We can go ahead and also put in paths here for people who are not busy with their work. Maybe I'll put one up this way as well. Just kind of pre-path some stuff. Let them get on their way. All right, good, good. Things are going well. All right, so we have the chance to get a thing. Okay, we have goods at the small farm. Grain production is increased. Okay, meat production is increased by plus one for every 25 times it's produced. Oy. Not actually happy with any of those. We'll kind of see if any of those matches what we get in our cards. So I think that's what we're gonna do first. Let's get a lizard out here to produce some stuff. Nobody likes working here, so we'll just have to suffer onward there, but at least they'll be able to collect that clay. Now it would be nice to find a food source that we can actually use. Okay, let's pause for a moment. Let's pick our cards. We have a uh, mush soup, which we never use. Pack of crops. Now this is gonna be quite important to us because we have to get all of these or we get have to open extra glades and uh, fulfill the desires of the glades. So let's go ahead and choose. Maybe this is gonna be easier because it's very difficult to get a building that does mush soup, it seems. Now we can get simple tools here or the crops and provisions. I'm thinking this might be easier actually. So we'll go with that. Now then, woodcutters camp and 30 wood gives us a beaver. We can get this instantly. Otherwise trading post plus 10 amber gets us these items. I think this one is much better. I would not want to give away 10 amber. Okay, so we don't really have anything here. I guess, geez. I think that reinforced tools might even be better than the grain bags. Let's take that. Let's take it. All right, so what do we got here? We don't even have a small farm available to us, which is kind of sad. Uh, let's see, berries and crystallized dew. I feel like the crystallized dew is actually a really good pick. And the reason for that is that we can make tools from it. So I'm gonna take that. Now we have the workshop. Oh, this is a great one, actually. Furnace gives us bricks, copper bars, and pie. I think, gosh, pie is always good. I think I'm gonna take the workshop to get the fabric and the bricks. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, so let's take those. Let's get this workshop underway over here. And then we'll also take, eh. Wait, what else did we get? We got, oh, we just got the um, the farming place. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'll put on limits for these. They're not gonna make planks here, but we are gonna make fabric and we'll have say 20 of this and 20 bricks, or maybe make it 30. Maybe we'll do 30, hold on, oopsies, no, help. 30 and 30 and then here, not there, here <laughs> we'll make uh, stuff. We're gonna put these simple tools on when we can actually get it. Let's make 40 planks uh, as we go along there. 
And here, at our crude workstation, we're gonna just make very little amounts of things to each to get things underway because it is a very inefficient process there. So here we go, hooray. Okay, let's go ahead and take a path down this way. And maybe we'll just kind of like build it kind of piecemeal out here. Just as we can, because they don't have more jobs available, alas. We are getting those shelters up, which is fabulous. Really exciting to do that. Beaver's working hard. All right, so we still have mushrooms going on. All right. But it is a bit of a struggle still. Definitely a bit of a struggle. All right, this should open up. Let's pause real quick. All right, what do we have here? We've got mushrooms, which is nice. Fertile soil and a big encampment. So they want mush soup or any of the other fancy foods that we can't make yet. So that's not ideal. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a path through here into this area. And we will go ahead and just kind of take it along this way. And then I'm going to take our farm and move it out here. Or our thingy thingy and move it here so that they can cut this stuff. So what I'm going to do, we're going to put in some cutting orders right there. And then we're going to put in the farming orders as well. Let's just take this this way. Okay. And somebody asked me if you can put farming tiles anywhere, you cannot. So if you try to drag it over anywhere, you can't, only over the grassy bits. And you can see here that some of these trees are actually on top of those grassy bits. So that's why I take time to cut the trees around. Sometimes also the farm fields, it seems like the farm fields are in like a kind of a mini puzzle where like you might have uh, a corner missing here and there. Um, and, and you can always cover all of the farm fields with one farm, but it just depends because if, um, uh, words, hello. Uh, <laughs> if you don't put it in the right place, it won't cover them all. So you have to kind of look for those little bits and pieces where you can stick it in properly. Okay, let's take our grove and put it over here and they will work on this. It's going to be exciting. That's going to be a plank thing. Let's go ahead and put that on a priority negative two for now. Okay. So now I want to have somebody working at the crude workstation. So we'll put in a couple of humans here to get some of this stuff going. Now, do we actually have anything to work with? We have a tiny bit of fiber and a little bit of clay, which is very nice. Let's see. These folks are working on this. That's good. So let's see what we're gonna get going first. I think I think what we might start doing positive numbers here. I kind of want to get let's get yeah trading post and let's get lumber mill next, and then workshop can be minus one and this is still minus uh, yeah minus one is fine. Okay. Still worried that we don't actually have a food source. Do we, can we actually get mushrooms? I don't think so. Play roots. Nope, nothing out there. Gonna have to wait for another card pick. We can get our woodcutters, but I want to survive the storm first because we don't have a lot of wood right now and I don't want to give away 30 wood at this point. It'd be a bit silly, I think. Okay, down here is another glade that we can open up. Oh, let's go here and see what we got. Okay, so we found, oh, this is a beautiful thing. Okay, so we have farming area here. Wow, okay. And we have uh, some snails, which is meat. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. All right, we'll let them just cut all of this stuff up and see if we can get another farming type building. Okay, this is going really, really well here. We might actually be done in this area. I think that's all of the farm fields. I'm gonna go ahead and move this a tiny bit and we'll see if we can stick that farm in there. Uh, but the farm is not done yet, so I will stick it in there when we finally have, uh, well, we need to have it built first. <laughs> that's important. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, this woodcutter's camp is just gonna keep on cutting. We can see how much wood we have right on that uh, thing there. So, okay, Stonecutter's camp is done. This is not good news for us, but we'll go ahead and uh, make those people 
uh, regular citizens instead of working there. Maybe they can help with with something or other. Go ahead and uh, at least building, which is a good thing. Okay, here we go. Uh, food is kind of going down steadily. We really need to get some food buildings producing. So, let's see, I don't know. Is that tree in the way? It is, actually. Let's go ahead and get this tree also out of the way. But we need to start building some stuff here. So these guys are definitely, they're building some planks at, at the very least. And hopefully going to get some fiber soon into fabric. Let's see okay so we have zero hostility level which is great okay the farms are getting built or the the farming fields at least are getting built let's go ahead and put this up to priority two and i think we do have two we have two planks in stock so this is great news this is really good news for us we do have the trader here which i I think I forgot when they uh, landed. I didn't see them. Because usually the trader comes immediately upon completion. But I didn't see it pop up. So that's okay. Going to have to deal with it. Alright, so what's going on? Hello? There was a ding. Aha, there was a ding. Hey. Okay, we're not going to do that yet. Actually, we can do it. Why not? Let's go ahead and go get this. And we'll pick another couple of cards. All right, clothing to the people. I think we have enough clothing buildings maybe to get this one. Uh, it also makes people happy. Oh, we get another beaver clan resolve for this one. If we get building materials. Building materials are not that bad. We can make them in the makeshift post, rainpunk foundry, or the provisioner. I know we have access to the makeshift post. So let me check that. Let's see. If we get the makeshift post, which is here see what we got here let's see it is how whoa 10 planks for two crates that's a bit expensive but we can do it and it gives us this really really nice uh, resolve boost I think I'm gonna pick this one all right next thing oh we got the raincoats again I like that actually so we haven't had any luck getting the trappers camp I'll, I'll wait and see what cards we get because we do actually have meat right now but the problem is going to be, like, preventing our people from eating the meat. <laughs> That's the really rough part. Okay, so we can make ju jerky, skewers, and offerings. Copper bars. Uh, tea, incense, biscuits. Wow. Would love to get some jerky going on, but right now we don't have any sources of meat, which is not good. Okay, so let's take this one and move it somewhere else. Maybe we go... Actually, we can go down here. There are plenty of glades to open up over here. Maybe we'll find some more victory points. Let's see. So let's go ahead and just go in here. Uh, also in here. Just take swathes of three wide. Now our hostility level obviously increased since the, the impatience decreased. So that's an important thing to think about. All right, so we are makeshift post. Let's try and build these guys. How many do we need again? 15. So we'll go ahead and put in a limit of 16 here because they do two at a time. And I'm just going to have one person kind of, oh, looks like a beaver is quite happy to do that job. That's excellent. Now we don't have a lot of clay and bricks left, so that's kind of unfortunate. All right, so we can have humans working here. I'm going to go ahead and find the other human that we have. Uh, let's see, take this off. Uh, human. Ah, workstation. All right, so you work there on the grove, please. There we go. Click the wrong thing. There we go. We're going to move this grove over. Now, the reason I put it over there is basically I'm going to also f face this kind of toward the field so they can go in and out faster. Um, the reason that I face it toward the fields is so they can oh, go. <laughs> Jeez, I just saved that. Never mind. The reason I build it over here is because the builders can take stuff out of the uh, central storage and just, uh, oh, oh, hostility one, boom, that's not good. Uh, so they can take materials out of storage and just build it quickly. So we have eggs here, which is kind of great. Do these give people harvest eggs? No, they harvest roots. No roots, no roots, new roots, new roots. We do have a small encampment. They want broccoli. 
We have some broccoli, but that's all we have. Ah, we do actually have some meat, which is nice. Um, but we can't, I can't afford to give it away right now. It's too expensive. Like where we might die. Let us look at our stuff. Newly discovered resource nodes have 10 more charges. That could be really good. Oh, and we've got forge trip hammer. Okay. That's interesting. Sloppy wood cutting. No, I think we'll change the, we'll do the glade one. That seems really good. So here we got the meat thing. Jeez, we're looking for meat, meat, glades and stuff. These people are bringing uh, bricks, which is nice. These people are bringing mushrooms, they're bringing food. Oh, I want those bricks so bad, but we're gonna take the food, I think. Really worried about our food supply right now. All right, so Hilda has some stuff for us. Let's see what we have. We have zero amber right now. Um. The pottery one is really nice. Fabric production is nice. But let's see, what do we do? I don't think we do anything, actually. We don't think there's much to do at this point. So we're just gonna leave it alone. And maybe it is time. I'm gonna move this slightly. And I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this entire section and kind of open it up and just build here. Because I think it could be a good good spot. We also need to make many more homes. That is very necessary. So let's just do that. We need to build, let's see, at least one, two regular homes. Let's do that. All right. And we'll go ahead and look at this again. I would really like to get the butcher. Yeah, let's take the butcher. I don't know if we'll have enough meat to support it, but we'll have the building. Yeah. We're just going to go with that. Sure. That's great reasoning, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. We're going to make some jerky. We'll make it out of meat instead and it'll give us 10 jerky. Hooray. Now we also have the opportunity to make skewers. It takes two of those and then two vegetables to make those. So I'm thinking let's not make skewers nor offerings. We'll just make the jerky for now. Uh, all right, so that is that. Okay, very good, very good. But I would really like to get some kind of a camp to give us meat. We are currently making some berries here and crystallized dew. So that's nice. They're going to keep on working on that farm. But yeah, we definitely need some uh, to provide homes for these people. because that's very useful. All right, very good. Okay, and they are homed, for, perfect. Uh, we don't have any extra fancy materials. This is not very good. Not, not a happy situation for sure. Now here, I would love to make planks in a better way. So I'm gonna completely turn them off from here and I'll let her finish this section of fabric do we, do we need bricks anywhere? Oh, there's a kitten here. Hello, kitten. Hello, my kitten. Okay, so we don't actually need her to make anything else after she's done. So I'm gonna fire her from there and we're gonna go ahead and hire her here um, and get those things going. Actually, I forgot to hire the rest of the people. So let's get that going. We um, we need that to happen. We're gonna put two, okay, two people are working here, hooray. So we'll put a beaver there so maybe they'll make double the planks. That's really going to be good for making the building materials. So we have our beaver working here. About 10 planks for two boxes. Ah, that's a lot of planks. Makes me very sorry I picked that one <laughs> because we don't have higher efficiency with that. Now I do want to see, we do have a uh, scavenger's camp. I think this is important to build because we need food like right now. So let's build this pronto. We need just a couple of bolts and we need wood. And then we can harvest these eggs. Let's see, down here, I'm thinking it might be worth putting a storage building in here. So let's see, city buildings, storage. I'm gonna put this, let's put in a road. There we go, like that. 
Okay, so we did get a little bit planted here. We are getting some crystallized dew, so that's perfect. Really good. It will help us. Uh, we might be putting too much into crystallized dew, just saying. But we'll hopefully get it working. All right, I might put this storage in here, like closer to the middle of something, but we'll have to see. Okay, so we have a lot of stuff that happened here. Let's take a lizard or two and have them do uh, the eggs. Put those guys over here, okay. And then I'd also want to make these farm fields over there. And yeah, woodcutters are keeping on cutting wood, which is excellent. Now then, we have a little bit of clay, which means we can have some bricks. Uh, the butcher is important, but we need the workshop, I think, next. They don't have any fabric. Do we have any? We don't appear to have any reeds either, which is definitely not ideal. I thought she was making fabric, and I don't know where it went. Do they have... Oh, we just need to have a delivery. Okay, uh, let's take someone here and then just make a delivery. They're going to deliver it. Okay, that's perfect. So here, let's go ahead and take a lizard here, and they are going to make lots of stuff, I hope. There we go. Now we're at hostility one. Now we can reduce this just by removing woodcutters. So that's going to be quite easy. But we are really struggling on food. This is not a good situation at all. I think in the next iteration, I'm just going to make berries here. Because we are struggling so badly on food. There's no way to get the mushrooms either. Okay, so Hilda is here. Was here. I might try to, I don't know, trade something for that stuff. I don't know what to trade. There's not much to trade. We're a poor colony. Don't they have... Yeah, don't they have mercy on us? Hello? <laughs> Help? <laughs> uh, okay, so let's see. There's no building going on right now. We really need this uh, to happen. Okay, so she's making more fabric right now. I'm going to take her off of fabric as soon as she finishes. We'll just do the storage uh, emptying first. Come on, girly. Go, go, go. There you go. All right, so hopefully she'll carry this out. Okay, and I hope that's done. All right, so get her out of there and she can be the builder. Okay, very good. Very, very good. Yeah, we're low on food, I'm aware. It is uh, an unfortunate situation. Very unfortunate. But I don't know what to do. Uh, we might try to trade with the trader, possibly. Put that over there. Okay, here we have our woodcutter's camp. I'm going to go ahead and move this kind of out here and just open up this area. And just like chop a whole bunch of trees. That will be good for our production of planks at the very least. Okay, and we're almost to the section where we need to pause or take off one of the woodcutters. So I will do that right now. There we go. So we still stay at zero hostility in the forest. That's good. All right. We do have more cards to pick, so let's pick them. All right. Meat. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, we have the coat. Let's try coats. Here we have what? If we have a tavern and brewery, we get rewards. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, that's so funny. You know, <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> I just want to laugh and cry at the same time, knowing that we have to do all of these orders because getting resolve up is really difficult right now. It's like, no, I, okay, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So, all right, uh, we do need, I would like to make another grove. So we can go ahead and build that. It's going to be our next project. I forgot what we need for that. We Oh, they're building it already. Fantastic. So hopefully we're going to try to get a couple of humans going on. We're going to move this out here. All right. And then we'll put in a little road here as well. Uh, and we'll have a human working there, I think. Now, do we have any extra materials? It looks like we have a couple of bricks. Uh, eight bricks. So we can do... Um, bricks and we can do human houses. I guess that would work. We can do maybe two of these. Like uh, one, 
And two. I don't want to use up all of our bricks just in case we can't get any more. But yeah, it would be nice. Okay, so here they are actually making the soil happy. I have no idea what this does, however. It, it makes it sparkly, but does it give us extra yield? Or maybe it's a chance at extra yield or something? I'm not quite sure what it does, to be perfectly honest. It's kind of confusing to me. Um, but I hope that that like will be added as a as a tooltip or something in uh, in the upcoming patch or update I should say. Uh, all right, so we are back in Drizzle here. Uh, let's look at what we have. Meat specialization. All right, meat is increased by plus one for every twenty five times. Brewery gain one villager for each glade. Wow. All right, we have a bunch of bricks here. So let's see, fifteen. 15 clay. Let's find out how many bricks that means. <laughs> so we want to take off the fabric and the bricks from here and just use stuff from here. Uh, I don't think our beaver is actually doing anything because we don't even have any clay. So three clay equals two bricks. So let's see. Three clay. So that's five uh, times two is ten. 10 plus 4 is 14. So this is a, an increase on bricks. So let's accept this. And we get more people. Hooray. So we have four spaces. I don't remember how many people. We, oh, it looks like we did get actually four people. So we don't have to increase our housing just yet. Uh, also, I do want to put in another person here. Let's put another human over there. We're low on food still. Yay. Oh, what do we do here? I have no idea what to do here. Oh, we can hope for meat, maybe? I don't know. We are getting our building materials uh, built up a tiny bit, but man, I'm going to choose the meat thing, hoping we're going to get a meat thing. We'll see. We will hope and, and hope. <laughs> we'll just keep on hoping. <laughs> hoping will happen. Yay. Oy. Okay, it'll be fine. No worries. Let's take this one off. There we go. Okay, we opened a glade over here. Small abandoned cache. Oh, and we have some tasty clay in there. Ooh, boom. All right, we do have tools ready to, to make. Uh, all right, and we have some different kinds of things in here. I guess we'd have to take that anyway. But we want to... Let's move this out a tiny bit. And since we have a farm, this is going to be cool to have a storage down here. Now let's go ahead and clear out this land right there. Uh, all right, that's looking good. And we'll also get our little camp. We can move our stone cutters camp out here and finally get yeah. some more clay. Clay like we deserve, yeah. Okay, we'll get this over here. And maybe we put the storage building somewhere in there move this uh, maybe there whatever we can put maybe the storage here something like that like that so that way these people can kind of deliver here take a path like down this away uh, wherever they want to go all right good good take that down that away cool all right that works Okay, what have we got up here? Oh, Sahilda's here. Great. All right. Uh, wine. We have grain. We have villager movement speed. Hmm. We don't actually have anything very exciting. I wish there were better things to trade, but I would like to get some kind of food. She has some mushrooms. That seems good. Or we can get some broccoli. Let's get some broccoli. Uh, let's get like 30, 20, 25 maybe. I don't know how, how expensive this is going to be. Let's trade for resin. I feel like that's a nice thing to trade for. 26, wow, it's one to one. I would have thought resin would be a little bit more precious than that, as in more expensive. But it's okay, we'll just, we'll just go with it. So that was Sahilda, hooray. All right, so... Let's see. Oh, these guys are planting both. All right, I'll, I'll go ahead and let them plant both. These guys are completely focused on berries right here. And while we're letting things happen, we'll go ahead and 
uh, sign those farm fields to be built. All right, everybody is currently happily homed. I want to check on beaver houses are fabric and planks. Which, man, yeah, having those the home bonuses be only plus one is really a downer. It's like, a um, that doesn't feel rewarding at all to build them. And I'd rather just keep the fabric for other things. It just doesn't feel like it's worth it. Okay, let's take this path this way. Maybe we leave a plus or a three, three wide building for there. So, oh, no, wait, we want to go here instead. Don't do this. We can like put some houses up here or something. All right. And we don't have any, anything. This is so bad. Oh, we have roots up here. Hooray. We do have roots. Okay. So roots and eggs. We also have this small encampment, which we could open up if we have some food. So I'm going to leave that for now because we have no food. This thing is, um, oopsies. These guys do roots. No, egg, eggs only. The other one is roots and clay, but I do want to get some clay first. That's uh, kind of important. Oh, oh, there's a second space here. Jeez. Okay. I didn't really uh, see that as such. I'll just put in another road tile there. Let that happen. Okay. Would love to get another card, but it is very difficult right now. None of our resolve is at all high. I don't know why the beaver resolve has a higher bar than anybody else's. I find that very strange. They've all had the same experiences out here and it's like, huh? Why are you being so picky? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> don't do that. It's not nice. I want to succeed. It's fun. But yeah, I don't know why we have different levels. Like the beavers should be the same height as everybody else. We do get that extra resolve bonus, uh, but I thought it would push us upward rather than just being the same. So that's kind of an unfortunate sort of thing. Now I do want to look at building maybe some of those tools. I think it's at the carpenter or, or lumber mill. So we can use some of the crystallized dew to make them. I'm going to go ahead and put those in the queue to be made. Uh, and we'll have a limit of like, I don't know, 10 or maybe 12, something like that. If anything, we can use them for trading. We are almost to the point of having those building material. Oh, wow. We did it. We got the building materials. Woo. All right. Let's do that. Let's click that. Whew. All right. We're going to get another three beaver resolve. We're going to get another three beavers, which is a bit difficult because we don't have enough beaver housing. So I'm going to go ahead and make, maybe I'll make one beaver house here. Um, or maybe two. I don't want to use the last bits of thing. No. All right. We won't use the last uh, pieces of cloth we have because it is not replaceable right now. Okay. We'll build those instead. Let's look at what we got. We'll get a brick oven, pottery, mush soup, coal, and tea, smoke house. Didn't we already get the smokehouse? Clothier. Oh, the clothier. Happy days. Except the fact that, oh, we got a butcher. That's what we got. Oh, I see. All right. The clothier is so good, but we don't have food. I really, I really don't want to, I have to re-roll it. I have to see if we get, nope, berries and plant fiber. Nope, we did not get food. This is, this is devastating, really, is what this is. It's horrible. Um, all right, we're going to have to take the plantation, and we're going to build plant fiber from that, I think. Let's see. We did have another farm section over here. So I think we're, we're going to build our farm out right here. So, God, this is, this is actually really stressful, this. I'm not that happy with our progress right now. Let's see, um, they need to clear that one out. But what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna have to do plant fiber because we don't have enough uh, cloth right now and we could build happier houses for people. So I think we're gonna go kind of with that uh, line of thinking. <laughs> we might die, <laughs> but hey, it's fine, right? <laughs> yeah, it's just fine. Okay, so plantation, here we go. And we'll put that on a priority here. But we do have these roots and eggs. Maybe I need to build another 
outposts to get those things. Now we could, no, you know what? We, I don't know if we have enough employees. Well, we do kind of, we have those beavers. So let's get, I want to move this over there. I think we have enough bricks. We've plenty of bricks. So I think we're going to move this here and they can just grab these roots instead. And we'll go ahead and let our people eat those roots. Oh my God. We are just starving here. This is so bad. Let's see, what else have we got going on here? We have the jerky, it's being made quite slowly. Maybe if Sahilda comes or whoever, oh, Beaver is coming, Old Farloof. Okay, we can't buy any food from him. Yay, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> okay, what, what can we make here? Can we make anything? This needs, we don't have mushrooms. We don't have, we don't have any food. Jeez, this is bad, really bad, bad times. Bad, bad times. I'm so, like, it's so un unrewarding, this. Like, I I have not had a chance to get... I don't think we've had any camps at all to pick up food of any kind. So that's been rough. Uh, we c definitely can't pack up crops. That's not a thing. We can't make clothing because I got rid of the clothiers because we needed a plantation. Um, all right, so where is another human... Okay, get out of here. Let's take a human from where? Oh, we don't have another human. Okay, we needed uh, another one, but let's see. We'll put a beaver here and we're gonna move this out here instead. I think this is the correct place. There we go. Okay. And we'll go ahead and just take this off, I think. Or maybe, maybe, actually, can I? If I move this down here, no, it doesn't cover those tiles, so it has to be there. That's the puzzle in action for you. All right, and we'll get this road going on here as well. All right, what do we get? We got another card. Ah, yeah, the tavern brewery. We can do the building materials again, I guess. Sure. Lizard resolve. That is never gonna happen. Luxury go goods, much likelier for that to happen. Trailblazing, glades, that's an easy one. We'll take that one. Then we have what, provisions and, and we have luxury goods again. I think we can try to do this one maybe. Oh, man, those provisions, we just have no food or anything. Ah, uh, yeah, the goods, that's a lot of luxury goods. 35 is tons. And then, of course, we have these crazy amounts of things as well. What is this, trade goods? We don't have a building that makes trade goods right now. We might have one. Clothier, carpenter, smithy. Oh, we don't have one that builds that either. Well then, <laughs> well then. Oh, geez, we'll just pick this one. This is a disaster. I think we're going to lose this run. Oh, the suffering is real. I know a lot of people like to see suffering when they watch uh, people play, but I don't like to suffer. <laughs> it's not good. It's quite horrible. The sadness is so sad. All right, so we can probably uh, reduce this hostility. We do need another Oh, house being finished. Okay, that's fine. That's good. All right, so we are going to get some fiber. Let's check on this again. I want them to plant. I want them to plant fiber, I think. We do have a tiny bit of food right now. We have these berries. I wish we could make berry soup or something. Uh, can we make any jerky out of the berries? No, we can make berries out of the berries. Wow, jerky? Ooh, okay, let's do this. Jerky plus berries equals skewers. That's funny. That's an interesting circular recipe. Huh, I like this. All right, make it, do it, do the thing. But unfortunately, that is all the time we have left for today. So take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.